Only MLB player to take in Yahoo said pro Trump waiter profiled him just got bad news. Great, just what we need. Now illiterate ball tossers from third rate baseball teams are putting out fake news. Today the manager of the Alabama restaurant where Oakland days catcher Bruce Maxwell claims he was refused service by a pro Trump waiter claims the ball tosser made up the whole incident. Bruce Maxwell who to date is the only MLB player who has taken a knee during the playing of our national anthem, claims the waiter recognized him after the so-called protest and he refused to serve the ungrateful bubba. But here is where the story gets interesting. Apparently, according to the restaurant's manager Ann Whalen, who manages Keegan's restaurant in Huntsville, Alabama, the whole argument and refusal to serve was because of alcohol, not politics as Maxwell claims. She explained that one person at Maxwell's table had no ID to prove he was a legal drinking age and the waiter refused to serve him a beer. We know all too well most of these ball tossers aren't known for their class. One thing led to another and the waiter ended up refusing to serve everyone in his party. Zero. Shares. Facebook. Twitter. Great. Just what we need. Now illiterate ball tossers from third-rate baseball teams are putting out fake news. Today the manager of the Alabama restaurant where Oakland days catcher Bruce Maxwell claims he was refused service by a pro-Trump waiter claims the ball tosser made up the whole incident. Bruce Maxwell, who to date is the only MLB player who has taken a knee during the playing of our national anthem, claims the waiter recognized him after the so-called protest and he refused to serve the ungrateful bubba. But here is where the story gets interesting. Apparently, according to the restaurant's manager Ann Whalen, who manages Keegan's restaurant in Huntsville, Alabama, the whole argument and refusal to serve was because of alcohol, not politics as Maxwell claims. She explained that one person at Maxwell's table had no ID to prove he was a legal drinking agent. The waiter refused to serve him a beer. We know all too well most of these ball tossers aren't known for their class. One thing led to another and the waiter ended up refusing to serve everyone in his party. Freedom Daily reports. The National Football League can own the honor of being the one professional sports league to allow disrespectful protests to take precedence over playing the game. However, their anti-American message has seeped into other arenas where highly paid players want the same kind of attention for all the wrong reasons. It hasn't ended well for the football industry. But that didn't stop a Major League Baseball player from taking a knee in disrespect which almost immediately earned him exactly what he had coming when he essentially flipped off our flag and all soldiers who died fighting for that freedom. There was only one player in the entire professional baseball league who decided to take a knee which is pretty impressive compared to their football counterparts. Perhaps the MLB recognizes how bad it is for business among the obvious issues of disrespecting our country. Oakland days player Bruce Maxwell didn't get that memo or at least care about it when as the sole person on the field he made his feeling about America and our flag known while not expecting anything to come of it. Maxwell almost got away with his message until the wrong person saw what he did and didn't hold back. Regardless how entitled kneeling players are who take a knee, they deserve the same level of respect from others that they show. High on his own arrogance, Maxwell waltzed into an Alabama restaurant expecting to get the royal treatment he thinks he's deserved as a professional baseball player but got something entirely different instead. SF Gate reports, Oakland A's rookie catcher Bruce Maxwell was the only Major League Baseball player to kneel during the national anthem this season, and a Trump supporting waiter at an Alabama restaurant immediately recognized him as that guy. Maxwell told TMZ Sports that on his first day home in Harvest, Alabama, after the season, a waiter refused to serve him and said, You are the guy who took the knee. I voted for Trump and I stand for everything he stands for. It takes a lot more guts for an average guy to say this to an entitled professional athlete dining with a politician than for an athlete to take a knee at a game. The counter-protest was rightfully more important to the waiter than a tip and perhaps even his job. Maxwell threw a temper tantrum, which is to be expected of these whiny millionaire players, and despite valuing his right to protest, he didn't think the server had the right to represent his views while on the job, which is incredibly ironic. Maxwell complained to management and demanded a new server and, of course, got what he wanted. He can't take anyone disagreeing with him which he doesn't have to face when he takes a knee on the field and other people watch from the stands for a television set. When faced with the reality of his poor choices, even in small ways like this, 
they prove themselves the cowards that they are. It's never about the message, it's about imposing power over people, and taking a stand against our president's wishes. Maxwell says otherwise, in facts, he touts himself as a mover and a shaker in this movement making waves for a better America. Maxwell says there's been a lot of positives that have come from his demonstration, including a new friendship with Colin Kaepernick who's sort of mentoring him now, TMZ reported. No surprise there that he's pals with the racist godfather of this protests, who is in fact half-white but only identifies with the black half since there's no privilege or advantage to derive from his white side. Kind of makes the whole movement in which he's kneeling for and getting others to as well, null and void. His friendship definitely helps. His guidance comes through that. And just being able to use him as a sounding board some days does me some good. Maxwell explained according to TMZ. Maxwell also says some very big names from both the NFL and MLB have reached out to lend their support. Guys like Dusty Baker, Coco Crisp, Tori E. Hunter, Adam Jones and more, the report added. He hopes to unite everyone to help spread Colin's message. We know where they won't be having the next lunch meeting. Nobody cares if these kneelers won't be eating at the Alabama restaurant where this patriotic server doesn't want to serve them anyway. It was an act that was within the waiter's rights just as well as protesting is supposedly within the rights of players. If Maxwell doesn't like the server's use of his First Amendment while on the job, then maybe he should consider that before he takes another knee for the anthem at his place of employment. Turnabout is fair play and entitled players are not granted freedom from their decisions simply because they get paid more money to play a game than someone who serves them food. The manager of the Oakland Athletics Bob Melvin should have benched this guy on the spot when he came to him before the game saying he would kneel for the national anthem. This isn't the NFL where anything goes. MLB is a true American born and bred sport. It's America's pastime and it will always remain that way. MLB needs to put out an official statement saying they will not condone any disrespect of our national anthem, flag or our nation in their ballparks, from their paid employees. MLB pays these bums enough to be able to stop this garbage before it even starts. If not MLB will go the way of the NFL, where now they are begging for TV ratings, ballpark attendance, and merchandise sales.